2018 BMW 6 Series Grand Turismo Review. The good points of BMW 6 Series Grand Turismo. Extremely comfortable and refined. Interior space just like 7 Series. More luggage space than 5 Series Touring. Better equipped than 5 Series. The bad points of BMW 6 Series Grand Turismo. Driving dynamics lack sparkle. More expensive than 5 Series Touring. Heavier than 7 Series and 5 Series Touring. The BMW 6 Series Grand Turismo replaces the 5 Series Grand Turismo inside German manufacturer's lineup, but continues within the same vein. Badge GT, the modern model is larger over a 5 Series, slightly smaller than the usual 7 Series, but adds a hatchback body style and modest surge and ground clearance unavailable on its siblings. The 6 GT's unusual ingredients mean it's without direct rivals. Although both Mercedes CLS shooting brake and Audi A7 offer a similar experience in concept and comparable in price. Buyers may additionally consider full-size SUVs such as Land Rover Discovery and Volvo XC90, or a large estate with raised ground clearance, for example the Audi A6 Outroad or a Mercedes-Benz A-Class All-Terrain. There's a vital difference versus the Mercedes and Audis mentioned, however. On these models, the gap between the front and back wheels the wheelbase comes to the cheaper A-Class or A6 derivatives which they're based or less, from the case with the older CLS. Based on both 5 and 7 series BMWs. The BMW 6 series Grand Turismo is dependent on a mixture of 7 series and 5 series underpinnings. That's why its wheelbase matches a 7 series not the shorter, A-Class and A6 rivaling 5 series and its particular body just 6mm shorter overall. It's also as wide as being a 7 series. The 5 GT's rear seats were raised 30mm across the front seats to provide rear passengers our commanding view ahead, but this necessitated a top, dumpy roofline. The 6 GT's roof is 21mm lower, and its body 87 millimeters more than its predecessor to build sleeker proportions but they remain not easy to covet, but this actually also demanded the rear seats be positioned with the same height because front. Despite this, there's still a generous volume of both head and legroom within the rear seats as well as a sense of airiness. The 7 Series limousine-like atmosphere is usually enhanced with optional comfort seats having an electric reclining function and headrests like goose down pillows. Unlike a 7 Series, however, the 6 Series GT incorporates a large hatchback. The previous 5 GT featured a dual tailgate, which could either open such as a saloon cars maintaining a sealed barrier between cars interior and also the outside elements or like a more practical and windier hatchback. The 6 GT adopts a conventional hatchback. It opens electrically as standard, providing having access to 610 liters of luggage space behind the back seats. This is a bit more than the 25 Series Saloon 530 liters plus the Touring Estate 570 liters. The rear seats may be lowered almost flat an angle close to 15 degrees remains by pressing buttons easily accessed inside the rear luggage area, or split to ensure either 40 or 60 percent of a corner bench is lowered and another or two passengers can easily still sit from the back. With the spine seats completely lowered along with the rear parcel shelf neatly stowed away below the boot floor, BMW claims 1,800 liters of luggage space. 100 liters more than the usual 5 series Touring. The driver sits 6 centimeters above in the 5 series, but that is still quite definitely a car-like experience. The dashboard is carried over through the 5 series, and impresses having its build quality, premium feel, fit and handle, and logically arranged controls. The infotainment strategy is responsive and mostly intuitive accessing the optional Wi-Fi hotspot is a little of a muddle, and at least track of the class best. Larger, high horsepower engines only. As a more substantial, more luxurious offering compared to a 5 series, the 6 GT is just not offered featuring its siblings smaller, extremely effective engines. Instead, Buyers can choose from your 630i actually a 2.0-liter turbocharged engine with rear-wheel drive, 
or more to 45.6 miles per gallon in 142 GKM. A 640i of 3.0 liter turbo 6 cylinder with X drive L wheel drive, or higher to 40.4 miles per gallon in 159 GKM, or 630d a 6 cylinder turbo diesel with either rear or L wheel drive, or more to 57.7 miles per gallon in 129 GKM. Though X drive L wheel drive lessens the official fuel economy by around 10%. All derivatives are fitted by having an 8 speed automatic gearbox. We tested the 640i X drive M Sport. BMW engineers say they targeted comfort levels extremely near the 7 series, with dynamic behavior approaching that on the 5 series. The overriding impression is of the extremely comfortable, refined, and luxurious car. When preloaded with optional air suspension around the front axle, the motorist can adapt the 6 GT's characteristics, with firmer or lighter steering, relaxed or regressive gear shifts and 3 suspension settings. The ride height will also be raised by 20mm, and lowers by 10mm in sport mode or at high speed. The only BMW using a Comfort Plus setting. It speaks volumes that this really is the only BMW use a Comfort Plus setting, yet not Sport Plus. In Comfort, the 6 GT glides over speed bumps like it's plowing through dough, and rides serenely on regular roads. Pernickety occupants might still detect an incredibly, very distant agitation since the suspension relates to small bumps, but select Comfort Plus this also disappears entirely. With wind and road noise reduced to some distant hush, this can be an extremely comfortable approach to cover great distances. The downside, as you may expect, is usually a lack of driver engagement over a twisty road in sport mode, a setting BMW traditionally aces. The steering, though quick and accurate, feels rather numb, body roll persists rapidly optional roll control system designed to our car and there's a standard unwillingness to convert crisply into corners. The 6GT is capable enough, nonetheless it's not particularly engaging for the trucker. The 640i does deliver a large level of performance, however. The six-cylinder engine is smooth, sounds purposeful without having to be raucous, and delivers excellent acceleration from low down inside the rev range. Rever in it harder and progress becomes very rapid indeed. Thanks partly towards the extra power and 150 kg weight saving within the previous model, despite the newest model's increased dimensions. It's worth noting, however, which the 6 GT is 100 kg heavier than both a 5 series touring along with a comparable 7 series, passing it on a significant chunk of additional mass to shift. Despite each of the 640i's positives, 70% of British buyers need to opt to the 630D. Previous test drives inside 530D suggest a combination of refinement, performance and frugality to suit this concept, along with the likely way in which it'll be driven, very nicely indeed. 8-speed automatic on all 6 series Gran Turismos. The 8-speed automatic suited to all cars ably covers a large spectrum of uses, from smooth refined shifts at surprisingly low speed, swift responses in auto mode, or extremely quick changes when the driving force switches to manual mode and uses the paddle shifts behind the controls. UK buyers are given either SA or M Sport trim. On either spec, standard equipment includes BMW Professional Navigation with 10.25-inch touchscreen display, connected drive services, adaptive LED headlights, cruise control, reversing camera and parking sensors back and front. To this, M Sport upgrades from 18-inch to 19-inch alloys, adds a panoramic sunroof, sportier styling, sports seats, plus suspension and brake upgrades, along with a host of desirable finishing touches inside and outside. Many features that command a premium on the 5 Series are standard. All this goes a considerable ways, if not all of the way to creating up with the circa 11% price premium that the 6 Series Grand Tourismo commands over the 5 Series Saloon. Loads of optional extras available. Myriad choices are also available, such as front air suspension designed for our car rear air suspension as standard, and rear wheel steering, 
that produces the 5091 mm long 6G T film or maneuverable through low speed corners, plus much more stable at higher speeds. Safety is usually a BMW watchword along with the 6 Series Gran Turismo delivered using a 5 star crash test rating if it was assessed by Euro and Cap in the end of 2017. However, many options bundled together in tempting packages with a reduced cost. These are M Sport Plus Package, 20 inch alloys, Hardman Carden Stereo and Privacy Glass, Premium Package, Soft Closed Doors, Ford Zone Climate Control, Massage Seats, Comfort Front Seats, Rear Seat Comfort Package, Heated Seats Front and Back, Rear Window and Rear Side Shutters, Reclining Rear Seats, Rear Seat Entertainment, Technology Package, BMW Display Key Check Fuel Range, if doors are open or closed, if alarm is sounding by investigating key, Wi-Fi hotspot, head-up display and gesture control, which enables you to answer or decline telephone calls or adjust volume with waves of the hand. Latest deals from Buiacar. BMW 6 Series 630DX Drive M Sport. 40,890 pounds. Or 519 pounds a month. BMW 6 Series Gran Turismo Hatch 40,480 pounds or 546 pounds a month. See all deals on BMW 6 Series. Representative example, representative APR of 7.9% borrowing 10,509 pounds over 48 months on HP Type Finance. The total amount payable could be 250 pounds per month which has a total cost of credit of £1,483 as well as a total amount payable of £11,992. Dennis Buia Car Limited, 3132 Alfred Place, London, WC1E7DPGB 0915105 is usually a credit broker regulated by FCA FRN 6673682. The Verdict the 6 Series Gran Turismo represents a big improvement above the outgoing 5 Series Gran Turismo. It's impressively comfortable, refined, spacious and versatile, and tones down many of its predecessors' ugliness. That it delivers much in the luxury and space of any 7 Series at the far lower price tag, with much more luggage space when compared to a 5 Series Touring, enhances its compelling case. Adjusted because of its more generous specification, the value gap for the 5 Series also narrows considerably. But the 6 GT remains difficult to love, which has a design that's unlikely to stir the emotions, and also a driving experience that fails to get results of BMW's trademark dynamism. For some, that only won't matter, but we suspect the 5 Series Turing will suit British buyers better. Keep track of this page for that in-depth BMW 6 Series Gran Turismo review not far off. Lots to select from, with diesel, hybrid and petrol. Impressive economy from the newest four-cylinder. Massive performance from your AMG cars. There's a wide range of powertrains within the A-Class saloon, with diesel, plug-up ride and petrol all cared for. Diesel engines. The bulk in the lineup travels to diesel. Unsurprisingly, having a four-cylinder 2.0-liter motor that made its debut inside a class kicking things off. It's much smoother and quieter than its predecessor in obtainable in two states of tune, the 150-horsepower E200D as well as the 194-horsepower E220D. Picking relating to the two is a little confusing because more powerful version provides same fuel economy minus 72.4 miles per gallon. Despite being on the second quicker from 062 miles per hour 7.3 in comparison with 8.4 seconds. That's partly because the 220D packs 400 newton meters of torque to your 200D's 360 newton meters. Although the stronger car's 150 miles per hour top speed may seem academic in the evening speed limit free autobahns on the car's homeland. It hints that there's still strong overtaking performance offered by UK motorway speeds. You could also have the E220D with 4 Matic Hal wheel drive, although expect sprint times and economy to fall, 7.5 seconds and 62.8 miles per gallon because of this model.
For those wanting more power, there's an E350D powered using a 258 horsepower 6 cylinder engine. With an additional 64 horsepower on the E220D, plus two additional cylinders, it may hover 062 miles per hour in 5.9 seconds and carries a more relaxed character due to 620 newton meters of torque for the expense from the E220D's superbly low running costs. Expect 51.4 miles per gallon. Petrol engines. An odd mix here of your fuel sipping plug in hybrid as well as the fire breathing Mercedes AMG models. Let's take care of the E350A first, a four cylinder motor assisted by battery. This can sprint from 062 miles per hour in 6.2 seconds but nevertheless promises 134.5 miles per gallon. We think it's unlikely you'll see this figure. But sub 50 gkm of CO2 causes it to become an attractive option for company car drivers. It offers potent performance 286 horsepower and 550 newton meters of torque. At one other end on the A class spectrum would be the Mercedes AMG E43 and E63 performance models, powered by the V6 and V8 engine respectively. The E43 packs 401 horsepower and 520 newton meters of torque for just a 062 miles per hour period of 4.6 seconds. It makes a terrific, if slightly synthetic, noise packed with six cylinder howl with the top end and menacing burble with the bottom. It's a terrific mix of performance and everyday usability, offering great performance when you need it plus the ability to make calm, wafty progress if you don't. Its fuel economy isn't most of the V8 car though, with 33.6 miles per gallon offered. The top AMG A class also comes in two variants, the standard E63 plus the E63ES. The normal E63 offers up a somewhat bonkers 571 horsepower and 750 newton meters of torque, racing from 062 miles per hour in 3.5 seconds. Upgrade for the E63 as the ones figure climb to 612 horsepower and 850 newton meters, meaning serious muscle for those who choose to deploy it. This car shaves a tenth off of the E63's 062 miles per hour while offering an identical fuel economy of 31 miles per gallon. Characterful doesn't quite cover the barrel chested V8 squeezed in the engine bay. It's not essentially the most tuneful noise inside the world however it's certainly loud and exciting to be controlled by. Despite packing some turbos the E63S offers razor sharp throttle response and very little lag whenever you press the throttle pedal. The super quick 9 speed automatic gearbox helps here, which carries a spooky capability to be from the right gear always. Our engine choice. Of a few we'd go with the E220D due to its incredible mixture of strong performance, excellent refinement and low purchase and running costs. But be aware which the 102 GKM CO2 figure only refers to cars with all the smallest available wheels. Stepping up from 17 inch to 20 inch diameter alloys adds 10 GKM on the CO2 output. A good steer but better handling rivals available. High grip from tow wheel drive. All the more from 4 Matic. AMG cars really are a real blast with a twisty road. The new A class is incredibly competent from the corners. But such as class, its priorities are skewed more towards comfort than handling. A Jaguar XF is much more fun to operate a vehicle. The steering is precise, feels pleasingly light at parking speeds and weights up nicely the faster you decide to go but it really never really notifies you much in what the front tires are around. The E200D and E220D come as standard with conventional coil springs but air springs a technology normally only entirely on high-end luxury cars can be found as an option, and therefore are standard on higher spec versions. Toggling from the drive mode selector around the console changes the stiffness with the air springs. If you need to get anywhere remotely quickly you'll have to engage sport mode to reduce unwelcome body roll. The tow wheel drive model's traction is fantastic and that is only improved in all of two wheel drive 4 Matic cars. Mercedes AMG models noticeably sharper. For the Supreme in a class handling you'll want either on the AMG prepared cars, 
the E-43 and E-63. The former sits halfway relating to the standard car and also the V-8 Super Saloon and as being the result its handling thinks a little confused. While the steering is extremely reactive it doesn't offer much within the way of communication, and from the softer driving modes there's still a college degree of body roll to deal with. The 4MATIC all-wheel drive system also favors understeer if your limits of grip are reached. The E63 however is much less of the compromise, with quick and accurate steering and flat handling even though pushed hard. Its all-wheel drive system feels somewhat more rear-wheel biased, using a balanced feel in corners than slips in control or below oversteer when pushed. This model also carries a controversial drift mode which sends more power to the back wheels for massive slides when conditions allow. Really you would like to save this for the controlled, off-road environment, in which the consequences to getting it wrong is usually removed, or perhaps mitigated. Regardless, the E63 is usually a seriously impressive car even on narrow twisting roads. At times during our test that felt being a much smaller and lighter C63, with every one of the agility and turn and ability of a sports car, rather compared to an Artwetan saloon. Massive full width digital dashboard impresses. Styling and building is nearer to S-Class than C. Multicolor ambient lighting looks great during the night. The A-Class blows the opposition out from the water if this comes to interior style. Borrowing heavily looking at this class government, along with some areas, actually bettering it. The construction is excellent closer to that relating to its class versus the class below it. The Bentley-like organ stop heater vents add to the a feeling of luxury. Standard cars feature two traditional style instruments along with an iPad-like however, not touch-operated multimedia screen within the top on the dash. For maximum while wow, you should choose the optional dual screen setup, which actually appears to be one hugely long screen stretching from your driver's side almost on the passengers. Mercedes doesn't believe touch screens are secure so has added a little thumb control for the steering wheel spoke that may help you operate the multimedia functions. It's quite difficult to operate initially, but feels natural eventually. Every A-Class has an automatic gearbox controlled by an indicator-like column stock along with an electric handbrake that loosens useful storage room within the center console. Gray tried on standard springs. Air suspension is luxurious. AMG cars feel purposefully firm. If you're looking for your most relaxing big saloon within the market, look no further. No other car within the class can match the revolutionary Mercedes-Benz A-Class for comfort and refinement. Whether you're idling at traffic lights or pounding the motorway, engine, tire and wind noise are impressively hushed. Ride comfort is great in all versions, nevertheless the air spring suspension standard on high spec A-Classes, optional on others incorporates a clear advantage here isolating occupants from smaller frequency bumps that could be felt with all the standard coil springs. Optional adaptive dampers help smooth the ride on cars minus the air suspension. Changing the drive mode selector within the console from comfort to sport or sport plus tightens the handling in the expense of comfort. The front seats are incredibly comfortable, and provided by both cooling and heating functions. The rear bench incorporates a flat middle section meaning the car may be used to be a five-seater as required. Mercedes-AMG Ride Comfort Both E43 and E63 models consist of air suspension but don't expect exactly the same wafty ride as you get inside the normal class. The AMG cars possess a special performance put in place and that means a purposeful firmness that you'll notice most on lumpy roads. The six-cylinder car can be quite easy to experience while the full fat E63 is less cushy during its least aggressive drive mode, and sharpened up in sport plus it feels quite hard indeed. On undulating back roads the E63S this task feels faster in sport or normal mode. The softer suspension allowing your vehicle to flow better on the cracked tarmac. Only two main trims available. Two big options packs with plenty of kit host of AMG performance models too. There are simply two trim levels to contend with from the corner class saloon range, say and AMG line. As ever with premium German saloons, 
you've also got a raft of optional extras from which to choose to personalize the car. Standard Mercedes-Benz A-Class Saloon Equipment. All versions from say specification get. Parking sensors. Reversing camera. Active braking assist protects against rear-end collisions by alerting the trucker if traveling too nearby the car right in front and prepares the brakes accordingly. 3-spoke multi-function tire with controls to the infotainment system. 17 or 18-inch wheels dependent upon engine. Electrically folding door mirrors. Automatic lights and wipers. LED headlights. Cruise control. Dynamic select driver profile system. DAB radio. Satanov. Heated front leather seats. Keyless ignition. On surface of that, E350D and E350E same models enjoy air suspension, the 12.3 inch infotainment screen, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto smartphone connectivity along with a touchpad to master the infotainment. What can you get inside AMG line? AMG body kit and floor mats. 19 inch alloys. AMG tire. False leather. Fabric upholstery. Electrically adjustable seats. Styling upgrades. Black open pour wood trim. Black roof liner. Contrast stitching. Stainless steel sports pedals. Mercedes AMG E43 and E63. Sitting higher than the standard selection of cars are a set of Mercedes AMG versions called E43 and E63. The former is of a halfway house relating to the mainstream car and also the full fat V8 version, and therefore comes with loads more sports styling. This E43 includes 19-inch alloys, unique AMG body kit, spoiler along with a louder exhaust, air suspension that has a performance tune, fake leather dashboard, red seat belts, Going the complete E63 hog isn't an amazing simple because it sounds, because there are actually three versions from which to choose. The standard car if you're able to call it that is distinguished externally by its 19-inch alloys and wide-body AMG body kit, including some purposefully flared front wheel arches. You will also get electrically adjustable front sports seats, steering column and exterior mirror with memory function command online system with 12.3 inch display plus a flat bottomed wheel. Mechanical limited slip differential on a corner axle to enhance grip. Performance 9 speed automatic gearbox with launch control. Cylinder shut off technology to help you improve fuel economy. Next up would be the faster E63S which packs more power and also some Larry styling upgrades to make sure everyone knows what you've got in the bonnet. What accessories can you get inside E63S? 20 inch alloys. Red brake calipers. Grippier bucket seats. AMG track pace telemetry system. Dynamic engine mounts. Electronically controlled limited slip differential. Finally there's the limited run E63S edition 1 which retains the previous car's performance but adds different 20 inch alloys and lots of look at and bodywork stripes and shiny black trim. Tech highlights include Keyless Go Adaptive LED headlights with high beam assist Panoramic glass sunroof Burmester multi-channel surround sound system system Yellow Edition 1 interior trim Optional Mercedes-Benz A-Class saloon accessories A lot on the optional extras available are arranged in packages, the belongings in which are organized below Premium Pack, Keyless Entry and Ignition Memory function for front seats, panoramic glass sunroof. Premium plus pack, as above, the Burmester surround sound system and intelligent cornering LED headlights. Lane tracking pack, blind spot assist warns of a vehicle inside your blind spot and active land keeping assist, which uses the brakes to help prevent you drifting out of the lane. Driving assistance plus pack, suite of systems to generate driving easier and safer including automatic braking. Evasive automatic steering, active land keeping assist and blind spot assist as well as collision prevention technology if your vehicle senses an impending impact. Other available options include a 360 degree camera, tow bar, a variety of paint and wheel finishes, fragranced air conditioning, power closing for doors and bootlet, 
heated rear seats, a array of hi-fi upgrades and also a head-up display. Mercedes-Benz A-Class features a 5-star Euro NCAP rating. Loads of normal safety kit plus options to pick from. Space Age Tech mean the A-Class is virtually autonomous. Safety is really a cornerstone in the Mercedes-Benz brand, so it'll come as no real surprise to find the A-Class saloon packed on the gunnels with kit and keep you, your passengers, pedestrians and also other road users safe, as well being a coveted 5-star Euro NCAP rating. You've got airbags all over the cabin, a bonnet that rises inside the event of your pedestrian collision, a fatigue detection system, cruise control, ice fix child seat lashing points, front and back parking sensors, tire repressure monitoring and collision assistance features like brake preparation appears to be impact is detected. Another interesting method is press F sound which plays a frequency with the speaker system to stop damage to ears within the event connected with an accident. Optional A-Class Saloon Safety Kit This is the place that the real technological wizardry can be purchased in. There's a huge number of additional equipment you'll be able to pack onto your class to further improve safety. You can hold the lane tracking package, along with a blind spot assist system warns of vehicles as part of your blind spot along with an active land keeping assist system that'll steer you back in your lane if the vehicle thinks you're drifting out. The driving assistance plus pack is amongst the biggest news here. It includes a raft of features which come together to effectively make autonomous driving possible. This means automatic emergency braking together with evasive steering assist a characteristic that'll help the driving force deer your vehicle away from objects and dangerous situations. There's a system for moving front seat occupants away from your sides in the car within the event of the accident. True five-seater with space for tall adults. Massive boot to stash luggage into. Futuristic remote parking is often a great gadget. The Mercedes-Benz A-Class saloon is 43mm more than its predecessor and there's an added 65mm between front and back wheels. That means cabin space is extended, which experts claim means more room around. The rear seats undoubtedly are a welcome proposition even for taller adults, although very tall passengers should avoid the center seat due on the tall transmission tunnel running through it. The Mercedes-Benz A-Class hides its size well as a result of its sweeping lines nonetheless it's still pushing 5 meters in size, this means some parking spaces may feel just a little short. Still, it's an easy task to see away from and maneuver so providing you've got the area, it'll certainly be a dawdle to park. A very clever optional feature that dramatically boosts this car's practicality could be the remote parking pilot which may get cars into and away from parking spaces remotely by way of a smartphone application. That means it is possible to squeeze the auto into spots without worrying about having to get involved and out in the doors, making smaller spaces a possible chance. The Mercedes-Benz A-Class saloon has developed into a bit of the big boot champion especially in a state form so there's no real shock with this model's capacity, 540 liters. Teamed which has a wide and square opening this may cause the Merc an incredibly practical car along with the perfect companion for weekends away or trips for the golf course. There can be a penalty of about 140 liters of space for picking the hybrid version because its batteries are located beneath the boot floor, and use up a fair dose of space.